Check out this exclusive interview at the G-List Society with your host, Wady G, right now. Hello, listeners. I am Wady G, the creator of the G-List Society blog, and you are listening to a new episode of G-Chat, where I interview our favorite LGBT personalities over the phone. And right now, I have two exciting guests. Normally, I have one, but today is a special occasion because if you watch the Grammys, on um, this past Sunday, or um, well, for depending on when you saw it, January 2014, um, there was a big ceremony, a marriage ceremony that happened during the uh, Macklemore performance, and two or one set of the couples were there, and it just uh, it blew it just blew me away once I found out who they were. And then uh, when I featured them on the blog, I mean, you guys, like, showed a lot of love to this couple. And and they are Octavius Terry and Jamal Sims. Hello, guys. Hey. Hey, everybody. Hey. What's happening? Everything is great. I want to say congratulations now that I'm speaking to you. Oh, thank and you. I'm, and I'm sure you're getting them everywhere. Um so, like, um, I don't know who wants to tell the story, but how would you describe the first time you two met? Well, I mean, we'll, 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 let's keep it short. We, but because but, we could go on and on about it. But the funny part about it is we met 10 years ago, and, um, and we were both in relationships at the time. But, you know, we, we spoke, and you could tell that there was some kind of chemistry there. But because we were both in uh, – relationships it did you know nothing ever happened and you know we were just introduced and and it was just something that you know kind of somebody that stuck in my mind and uh he says the same and and so but because i lived in la he lived in atlanta we we met in atlanta at a at a gay pride event and then so a couple of years later we i mean maybe the next year we saw each other again and uh, he didn't speak to me because he was in a relationship and I wasn't. He didn't speak. He didn't speak at all. You know, out of respect to his his guy that he was dating. So I thought it was weird. But anyway, so then the next year I was in L.A. and I come into one of my favorite restaurants in L.A. and he's sitting there with one of his best friends. And then he speaks to me then, and I'm like, oh, okay. But so anyway, so we exchanged numbers. Oh, and, and you know, and all this time between that time, we never really had a real conversation. We just knew that. There was this energy that we just could not, you know, uh, overlook over and over again. And I was just like, and I think for me, when my best friend moved out to L.A., you know, and at this point in my life, I just realized that nothing is, you know, nothing is a coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. And by this point, I told her at that restaurant when I saw him, I said, well, I'll let you know now that something about him, I don't know what it is, either we're going to be best friends or something, but let me let you know right now at this day at this table, Something's going to happen because we just keep running into each other. We never had a conversation, but there's just this energy that I just don't know what it is. So uh, yeah, and they turn into a marriage. That's dope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so at that point, we exchanged numbers. Nothing happened. And then the following week, I got a job down in Atlanta to go to work with a group uh, to choreograph. And he was there. We ran into each other at a club. And at that point, we were like, okay. We got to hang out. We have to at least go to dinner, or well, so we went to breakfast the next morning, and it was it. That was it. That was once that was done. Basically, we were on our way yeah, to we where were. we are today. Yeah, yeah. it was all she wrote. Lovely, lovely. Awesome. 